right, so we're starting this um, Facebook Live um, Garufana 101 class. And I'm not sure if I hope you guys are able to see me, see us well. I am going to turn the camera pretty soon in the other direction. But I'm just going to give you a little um, information about, you know, what, what this is about, how we started this. Um, the Garifuna, this Garifuna program that we have in St. Vincent de Grenadines. First of all, let me introduce myself for the people who don't know who I am. My name is, um, my name is Utrisha Charles. Most people know me as my, uh, Trish St. Hill, which is my writing name. I, I, I'm a writer. And in 2011, myself and James Lavelle and five other people, we went to St. Vincent with, uh, and Eleanor Bullock as well. We went to St. Vincent with a Garifuna language class. What is, what is, the, what is the Garifuna and what is that all about? The Garifuna people are originated, it's a, 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 a group of people that started in St. Vincent and the Grenadines in, and they're a mixture of African, Arawak, and Carib. The language that they speak is mainly an Arawak language, but they do have, they do, um, they, they're a little, just a few sprinkling of African words in there, but it's mainly an Arawakan language. And we in St. Vincent and the Grandines, we, even though this is the home of the Garifuna, we didn't know anything about the Garifuna language and, it, you know, the Garifuna people and anything like that. So we started to, um, we started this program to kind of introduce this as a cultural retrieval to the people of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. And we focused mainly on the young and the young people, the children and young, young adults. We did have some adults and still do have some adults. And every year we've been going except for 2014 and for this year, 2017. But we do hope to go back in 2019. Um, uh, the reason that we're doing this is that because we were not able to go and the children are still culturally just growing, we decided that we are going to, um, you know, do something that will kind of like let them not forget some of the things that we've taught them. And for people who are new to this, that they might be able to pick up on some basic conversational stuff. Now, today we're not going to get all complicated with you because some people watching this, who are going to be watching this or seeing this later, know nothing about this. So to start at this level and they don't know what you're talking about, it's not going to make much sense. So we're going to start today with just some basic, basic things. Um, Chris Vonan, who is our language teacher with YugaQ, is going to be one of the people that, this is going to be the person that is doing this today, and myself, her husband, and my son Joseph, we're sitting in to kind of help her with the class, so we're her students, essentially. All right, so we're going to, I'm going to turn the camera to Chris in a little bit. So we're going to do some basic things. Um, you're going to see some basic things like um, the, the, the number one and uh, some common things that, um, that people, you know, dog, um, strength, cassava, medicine. And we're going to talk about some basic conversational pieces. So don't, um, I'm going to hold on. I see Relicia Andrews is there. Relicia, hi. Relicia is one of our students in St. Vincent and actually has been doing a lot of stuff um, since we left with the children to kind of help bring this along. So we're going to try to turn the camera over with, with Miss Chris. And many children in St. Vincent, you know Miss Chris, so um, very good. Um, you, you know Miss Chris very well. What we're also going to be doing, we're going to be putting this on our network, um, QXTV. And that way, you, people who didn't get a chance to watch it today can go there and watch it at their own disposal. Today class, again, is going to be a very basic class because we're just starting this. For the kids in St. Vincent who's been in the workshop, they have some knowledge of it already, so they're not starting from scratch. Um, for the children who um, are new or people who are watching this one new, it hopefully will give us a little start off. All right, the next class will come with something a little bit more, you know, not intense, but a little bit more complex. But right now we want to just start in a basic way. All right, so I'm going to turn the camera around so that Miss Chris could get up to the board and we could start this, this, this program. And hopefully, you know, you guys can follow us. And if you have questions, just post them, you know, just post them on on, 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 the, on the live and I would be, you know, we try to address them. But right now we're just going to go off with some basic stuff. So Miss Chris? Hi, my okay. name is Christine Vernon. Good day. Mm -hmm. This is our initial class. And for many people, including myself, reading Garifuna is difficult. However, 
the pronunciation in Garifuna and English seems to be very similar. Let's start off today with the simple vowel sounds in English. A, E, I, O, U. For example, the letter A, the vowel A, when it's added to the letter T in English, it's at. So the sound for the vowel A is at. And it's the same as in the English language. Now, let's take a few vowel sounds of A. A -ri. A -r -i. So again, the A sound in English is actually the same A sound in Garifuna when you say a -ri, which is teeth. And we go on to another word in Garifuna starting with the A vowel sound, a -ba, which is one. one. Another a vowel sound in Garifuna is a ra ne. A same English sound, same Garifuna sound, a ra ne, which means medicine. Now there are several other Garifuna words that you can um, that you where you will find the a vowel sound and it has the same vowel sound in English as it does in Garifuna. I am one second, Miss Grace. I'm picking up a glare from the, the studio light, so I'm gonna ask my camera person there to move it over that side. Okay. Move that light because it's glaring right into the board which is white and shiny and it's it's move it into that room, into that area. Yeah. Is it yeah, I think it's much better. Um yeah, like that. Okay, and yeah. So go ahead. Okay. So we did. We went up to what medicine? So we went. We went up to irony medicine. So again, a sound a added to a t. At when you transfer that to a carifuna, a r i same a t a r a n i t teeth, A-B-A-N, A-B-A, means one, A, A-R-A-N-I, A, same vowel sound, A-R-A-N-I, is medicine. So, A-R-I, teeth, A-B, one, A-R-A-N-I, is medicine. Then we proceed to the E vowel sound. The E vowel sound in an English word for egg, the pronunciation would be E, egg, E, egg. So in Garifuna, it's the same vowel sound. E, re, ba, E, R, E, B, A. E, re, ba which means cassava, e re, which means strength. So, e re ba, cassava, e re, strength. Let's move on to the I vowel sound. So, in Garifuna, again, the same vowel sounds for I is the same vowel sounds for Garifuna. E, ru, ni. I, R, U, N, I. E, I is pronounced like an E, 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 ru, ni, which means sadness. E, ri, name. So if you notice, the I sounds more like an E. E, irony, sadness, 
eerie name. The next vowel song would be O. Only dog. O wem bull. Enormous. But the O sound is exactly the same pronunciation in English as it is in as it is in Garifuda. So O Li is dog. O we bu is enormous. And then we move to the last vowels vowel, which is U. And the U with these two little dots on top, omelette, this word is pronounced as if though you were saying dog, rug, it's a oh, it's an oh sound. So when you see the, the U with the two dots, the pronunciation would be boo Ru, oh, like you would say rug, rug, dog, lug. That's the sound that you're getting from this U in Garifuna. Boo, ru, ru. B U R U R U, which means yard. Boo, ru, ru. The next word is U Na Bu. One thing with Garifuna is it's so phonetic. Everything is phonetics. So if you, you if you take a word and you break it down phonetically, it makes it easier for you to pronounce. U Na Bu. Mm -hmm. U Na Bu, which means low. So would you say unabu? Unabu. 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 Mm. Unabu. So it's mm. actually three syllables. Unabu. unabu. Okay. Aru. No. Again, the U. 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 Aru. No. Which is your arm. Mm. Okay. So. Let's um, go over the vowel sounds A E I O U. Ah. Ah. Ari. Ari. Teeth. Ah. Aba. Ah. One. One. Ah. ah. Arani. Which medicine. Means medicine. We go to the E, e vowel sound. E, 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 re, ba, ba. which means cassava, e, e, re, e, re, strength. strength. Then we go to the I vowel song, which sounds like an E. E, ru, ni. E, e ru, ru me, me, which means sadness. sadness. E re name name mm -hmm. only um, dog dog oh where boo enormous. enormous. The U song, the U the U vowel, which is uh, uh the sound is uh 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 uh, uh. bu ru ru bu 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 ru ru oh 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 bu ru ru bu ru ru which means yard. Right now, bro. Ooh, 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 nah, nah. Bo. 
Unabu, which means low. Aru no. Right here is a u u. Aru no, which means arm. Um. Okay. Oh wow. Okay. So what about? So I noticed aba. That's one. So I knew, I remember that. Mm -hmm. And I remember we would conk. The first thing I learned to do was to conk to telling Garifuna. So okay. we'll go Abba, Biyama, oh Urua, Ura, Gajuru, Sengu, Sisi, Sedu, We Do, Nefu, DC. Right. I remember those. Okay. Abba, Abba. Biyama, Urua, Gaduru, Singu, Sisi, Sedu, We Do, Nefu, DC. 10. So that's 1 to 10. So these are some of the things we're going to get into in other classes, more, more involving. Another thing is um, the days of the week. Mm -hmm. The days of the week. Let's start with. Let's we start a Sunday, or like we do in English. We start with Sunday. Okay. Sunday mm -hmm. is Dimasu. Monday, Lendi. Lendi. Mm -hmm. Tuesday, Luago Biama. Because it's the second, second day. Second day, right? So you say Luago, Luago Biama. Biama. Right. And then Wednesday, which is the third day of the week, Luago mm -hmm. Urua. Okay. And then Thursday, which is the fourth day of the week, mm -hmm. you say again, repeat, Luago mm -hmm. Gaduru. Gaduru. So basically, you put in the day, the saying is the second day, is the third day, is the fourth day. Exactly. Okay. And you're repeating the same word, Luago. Luago. On the, on it's the, on this day. It's on, on the first day. day. Luago on this day. Okay. So if so if my question is if um we know Monday is Lindy. 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 And then the next day, which is Tuesday, is um Biama. Luago. Luago Biama. Luago Biama. So is it safe to say that the week, the girl from the week actually start counting from Monday then? In a way, in a way, it seems that way. That's what I'm I'm picking up. That that if they're saying that that's the second day, then it sounds to me like you, you know what I'm saying. It sounds to me that they're weak. Actually, they actually start counting from Monday. Am I wrong? I guess. Uh, I guess it, 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 it songs it songs it. It, it songs it. It songs that way. Yeah. The first day of the week. Wait, it's Sunday. Sunday. Well, right Sunday. for us in Sunday. English, right? No, no, but even even Garifuna Sunday would be the first day mm -hmm. because Sunday would be one. Okay. You, just say Luago, you won't say Luago. Luago Abba, right. you say Sunday is Dimasu. Right. Then it's Monday. Oh, no, no, no. Then Monday, Monday, is, is, Monday is Lindy. Is Lindy, Lindy. right. Lindy. Right, Lindy. right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And and I remember um, Wanda, Wanda Radi. Wanda Radi. That's Friday. Friday. Right. That one, for some reason, that's the hardest one, but I remember that one. one <laughs> Wanda Radi. Right. One of the things in Garifuna, the best way is try to pronounce the words Phonetically. Yeah, do it in pieces. Don't try to. Yes. Yeah. One da ra d. Right. Four. One da ra d. One da ra d. Okay. Okay. One da ra d. And then Saturday will be. Mm hmm. Samudi. 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 Yeah. Right. Samudi. Right. Samudi. I remember that. Now it's time to come back to me. You know, you haven't. I'm done it in a while, and I think I forgot everything. But now, I'm, 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 I'm realizing I've still got pieces of it. I've just put it together as the class go by. So you see, guys, Miss Trish don't know a lot of this stuff. I just am <laughs> wanting it along with you guys. I know a few words, and I know a few, you know, greetings. But I'm not um, a professional, so we need Miss Chris here to kind of keep us in, in track. So we did. We 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 we. we Quickly went over the counting, mm -hmm. Abba, you know, Biyama, et cetera, et cetera. Went over the days of the week. What are some of the basic um, Garifuna um, conversational pieces? Like, 
thank you or hello or how are you or what is your name what about some of those things we don't have to necessarily well, write on the board but the, how would i say in garifuna um uh how are you okay it's ida mm -hmm. biangi, biangi. Mm -hmm. how are, are you? you so biangi was ida biangi, biangi. right it's how are, are you, you? And you, you, you are, I, you, I, I could say, if I want to say I'm fine or I'm okay. Magadiatina. That's a tongue twister. Magadiatina. 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 Or I could say Uwadigati. Or Uwadigati. Right. Yeah. Um, how do I say thank you? Like somebody gave you something. I'm trying to leave them Ser with something. Sereme. 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 Okay, so thank you. So you could you. you could go to somebody and say, how are you? And if they give you something, you could say thank you. So we're trying to give, leave them with something here. Yeah. Um, some co basic conversational pieces. Um, it's, 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 it's not a, I wouldn't say it's a difficult language, but it's one that you, if you're not, if you weren't born into it, like many of us in St. Vincent and some of the people who would see this, it, it, you have to follow the rules of the language, otherwise you really trip on those That's words. That's why you have to start with the vowels. Though. Yeah, breaking it up in those, and yeah. And also the, um, the N, there is, a, mm. there is a pronunciation for the N word sometimes is with, with a little squiggly line on top of mm. it. Ñe, like in Spanish you say mm. Ñe. Well, mm. in Garifuna, when you use the N, the, uh, the N, I'm trying to think of a word. Um, word yeah oh yeah mm -hmm. like the word bread mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. garifuna you say fang okay fang so the n word uh -huh. it has fang. like fang. Fang. fang bread mm -hmm. um, so fang is bread bread okay fang is bread mm -hmm. i'm trying to think of another word um money Mm -hmm. Saying su. Okay, so money, guys, is sen su. Saying saying su. Yeah. Saying su. Okay. Um, Saint Vincent. Mm -hmm. How do you say Saint Vincent in your roommate? Your roommate. <laughs> your roommate. Yeah, your roommate. And the N in that case is silent. Your roommate. Yeah, it's silent. A -A. Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah. Exactly. And 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 thank you. Sereme, right, Sereme. right. You don't, you don't pronounce the N. Like when I first started learning Garifuna, I would try to say Sereme mm -hmm. and you remain. And then that was explained to me, of course, the Garifuna people who grew up with this stuff, they're, they're laughing, you know, and, and I, I would go around practicing my few Garifuna words that I know, but I would, I had some struggles, you know what I mean? I had some struggles in terms of how to pronounce yeah. them. Another silent way to use the word, the N word is when you said, um, to you, Mm -hmm. It's spelled B U N. You say boom, boom, boom. Right. So the N doesn't come out there. It's again it's silent. silent. Yeah. Boom. Uh, socks. Mm -hmm. Ba. It's oh. B A N in but Garifuna, it's, mm -hmm. but you say ba. 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 Okay. Okay. Um. Time. Mm -hmm. Da. D A N. Oh, like Dan, but you don't da. hear the N. Da. Yeah. Da. 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 Mm -hmm. Uh. Soon. Mm -hmm. All of us soon. Mm. Soon. Oh, another word. Um. Sun. Way you. Oh no, no, that, um, that's not the N word. I'm sorry. That's not. The, that's not what I was looking for. Mm. Or to me. Mm -hmm. No. No. N U N. No. 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 Oh, okay, so I'm so picking up that. Don't yeah, noon. you don't say noon. You don't say no. right. You don't say Dan. You say da. You don't say yeah. The the end is silent. Um, a hundred. S A N. Sa. 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 The me sa. Well, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> okay. And then um, coming back to the words with the the N word with the little squiggly, squiggly line. Squiggly above. Mm -hmm. Uh, when you say it is small mm -hmm. it's three words in english right it's one word in garifuna it is small means what you roll roll tea 
Euro. Let me not try to do the one one word because that's where I trip. Euro roti. Euro roti. The first word has a squiggly line, mm -hmm. so it's pronounced like a Y. You mm -hmm. is pronounced like a Y. You mm -hmm. ro roti. You ro roti. You ro roti. But it actually starts with a. With it starts with an N, N but, it's but it has that squiggly thing above this, so it pronounced like a, a like a Y. y. Like a Y. Euro roti. Euro roti. Okay. I want everybody to know that if you, we, the book, book that we're using is called the, um, the, let me just make sure I give it right now, the Comprehensive Garifuna, um, the People's Com Comprehensive Garifuna textbook. And um, if you want to just hold the cover up so they could see, this is just a manual. We, we put it together in a manual form. Um, pretty much, it's a, it, it will, you can get it free if you write to me at yugacure at gmail.com and yuga cure is spelled u as in united u as in i mean sorry u as in united sorry u as y as miss chris i got it y as in yelly u as in united um g as in george a as in apple um c as in cow u as in united r as in robert e as in edward so yuga cure y u g a c u r e at gmail.com if you write to me because you want a copy of this book i can send you a pdf copy of it you can either walk at it online walk from it online or you could walk from it and um you know by printing it out um there is also uh the people's um Garifuna dictionary which is in Garifuna and english by roy Cayetano. uh that book is available um in if you're in st vincent it would be available in most of the libraries i'm sure i left one day in most if not all of the libraries and the children most of them who attended a workshop they had one at least per household so if you're those folks you have access to one if you're not you can buy it um i believe on amazon all right and if you have any problem doing that you can let me know i will let i will speak to the gentleman who created that wonderful piece of work and we'll find out how you can get to get a copy. Okay? Um, or you can buy a copy. Um, someone is trying to come live with us. And I am trying to invite that person to come live. Um, okay. I'm trying to add you. We're not sure if we're going to be successful. But... Um, Right. Okay. I was trying to add someone who was trying to come in, but we weren't able to get them. So if anybody else want to come in, you can come in. And if you can't get in, you can always. Um, I have access to it. I am. Um, and another phone where I could just type as I'm trying to tape Miss Chris. She's trying to do her thing there. Um, again, today's lesson is not meant to overwhelm you. We don't want to get all too formal. We're trying to do the simple things. So now I see you have some other goodies on the board here. Yes. Um, so tell us a little bit about what okay. you're doing. And I'm going to focus more on the board. And Okay. Okay. And this is NBT. L H H. Mm. Now, this is in the possessive mm -hmm. when you're talking to someone in Garifuna mm -hmm. and you're referring to yourself. Mm -hmm. Like my. Like my. Mm -hmm. It's the word will always start with an N. My. Yeah. Any word that starts in any first person. Singular will always start with the that N word. Like um I'm starting to remember that, yeah. So N B L N B L should have been T. Yeah. N B N B L T. These are singular. My. I'm gonna give you a red marker because those are that one seems like it's about to die on you. So, 
I think you should go over that, at least the letters in red. Go to, over the N and the B too. Uh, yeah. yeah, that's much better. Okay. Okay. First person, singular. Mm -hmm. Any word when you're say, talking in Garifuna and you want to refer to your the, the first person, that word will always start with the letter N. N. We were talking about money earlier. Say mm -hmm. so. Mm -hmm. Say so. If I want to say that it's my money, mm -hmm. and in the singular, mm -hmm. the word is sensu. Now you're saying, I'm saying my money, first person, singular, you will say ni sensu. Mm -hmm. It has to start with the N, ni sensu. First person, singular. Okay. Okay, then if it's second person, singular, <clears throat> if, it's, um. if it's second person, which is no longer, if it's no longer my, yeah, go ahead, Miss Chris. No, no, second person, singular, mm -hmm. so now it's not my anymore, it is, mm -hmm. Yours. It's so, mine. So you will say, I will say, be saying so because be I'm saying so because the second person, person. right? Be saying so. Mm -hmm. So me saying so. Be saying so. Be saying so. Second right. person. It, okay. Now, if it's a male, you will say Li saying so. And if it, okay. And, and then if, if it's a female, you will say. T sensu. Okay. So first person is ni sensu. Ni sensu. Second person singular would be B sensu. Third person female would be T sensu. Third person male would be Li sensu. Li sensu. Mm -hmm. Okay. So then we go to the plural part of it. That I'm not sure now. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> if you if again if I'm referring to first person plural mm -hmm. that would be wa sensu. Wa. Wa sensu. Cuz it's first person right plural. Okay. Okay. Then second person Plural would be. I'm not sure if it's an H sensu or a he sensu. I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> My money would be what sensu. Right. Your money would be he sensu. Right. But it's another H below. Another H. And then the um, their money would be. Ha sensu. Ha sensu. Ha sensu. So ha he sensu. sensu and ha sensu. Right. Okay. So ha sensu is would be the third plural. Mm -hmm. He sensu would be second plural. Right. First plural would be wa sensu. Wa sensu. All right. I'm getting it. So my money is our money. Our first person plural would be. He, first plural. First would plural. Be, would be wait, hold on. What what saying so? Correct. Mm -hmm. And then your money plural would be he saying so. And then third plural would be Ha saying so. No, what did what did you say? Ha saying so. Ha say, yeah, ha I was right. So. Okay. Ha ha saying so. So. Yeah. Well, Alicia Andrews is watching and she's been doing a great job there. Teaching the little ones what 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 she was taught by Miss Chris. So um, really, so hi, we're trying to add you, but you know this technology doesn't always work too too smooth. Um, but we wanna we wanna say we appreciate and we admire the work that you're doing there. 
and whatever you know miss chris is always there she's not one for social media so <laughs> you're not gonna Sorry. be able to just reach her but i think you're on whatsapp right are you on whatsapp yeah, yeah. okay so that's a form of, of social media but just <clears throat> not as i'm a little crazy as facebook could be sometimes so um if you want to reach out to miss chris at any time yeah can you always can always that. text her you know you can always uh, i'll send I'll, I'll see that that link which happened because she's doing a wonderful job there in St. Doing a lot of stuff there with the children. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of these kids are teaching each other the, the drumming, and you know we know that we only come once once a year, so we realize that's not enough. And it's good that we have those little soldiers in the field there that is doing that. <coughs> Again, today's class is a little refresher for those people who stay, who've taken the class already, and also a, a very basic for people who may be seeing this for the first time. Right. I've always been the um, executive director of um, Yuga Kyo, but I am not uh, a fluent speaker of Garifuna. I know some basics. I could speak a little conversational Garifuna, but I'm not fluent by any means. And so I appreciate someone like Miss Chris who really gave up her time. And uh, you have been you've been there four times now. Uh, yeah, I think four times. Last year was four times. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people don't know about this lady. She has never um, taken a dollar to go there to work with those children. She's worked with them. She's given up her time. I mean, it's not even she gives up. She she gave up her, her time with her family, and she go there for a number of weeks and pretty much bleach out with her sense of misery. But she, we make it fun as best we can. And, you know, it's a lot of dedication. This is a retired person who, trust me, Miss Chris have a, a nice life. She she knows how to live her life and travel and so forth. But she gave that time up to come and work with these kids. And uh, we really appreciate you, Miss Chris. Okay, one more. Mm -hmm. um, let's go with the pronoun with, with, with me, mm -hmm. with you, with him, mm -hmm. with her, with us, with you, with them. Mm -hmm. Now, first person singular mm -hmm. with me. Remember, what does it start with? N. N. Mm -hmm. So you would say. Numa. Numa. Mm -hmm. Okay. Numa. So now, if first person singular is Numa, what would be second person singular? Buma. But what does Numa mean? With me. With, with me. me. Okay. With me. So, so the, Numa. The, pro, the pronoun. And then Buma would be with you. With you. Okay. Now, Tuma. remember the L is for. Oh, the L. That's the L. Okay. Is masculine and this is feminine. Okay. So with him would be masculine. Masculine. So would be Lima. No. Luma. 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 Yes. Yeah, Luma. Luma, Buma, mm -hmm. Luma. Luma. And then so the feminine first is person singular would be Tuma. Tuma. Mm -hmm. Good. And then we go to the first person, mm -hmm. second, second person, and third person plural. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now with. Now when you're saying with me, mm -hmm. it's singular. Right. But then what would be the plural for with me? Mm -hmm. Remember with. singular with no. me. Mm -hmm. Plural would be with. No. with. Okay, I gotta think here. The plural for me would be. Well, me would be n. It would start with an n. So numa, but no. you, but you're talking about the plural. I'm the plural about... part of it. Mm -hmm. So no, wouldn't... the plural part of me, me would be. Wuma? No. No, I'm English. 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 Oh. Me singular. Mm -hmm. What's the plural for me? With us. Us. Okay. With us. Oh, I, I see what you're saying. Okay. Okay, so that would be. Wama, so now with okay. us because now we, we, it's plural now. Right. Wama. Uh huh. Second plural will be ha, ha. Hama, Huma. Huma. Oh, sorry, Huma. Uh huh. Huma. Uh huh. Second plural. Right. And then the third so plural it would be Hama. Would be Hama. I got it now. So, Numa. Uh huh. Buma. Luma. Tuma. Wama us uh -huh. plural, huma, huma second 
plural. Hama, third, plural. plural. Mm -hmm. Wow, okay. Because um, me, singular, mm -hmm. us, plural. Right. So, with me mm -hmm. would be Numa. With you, Buma. Buma. With him, 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 Luma. Luma. With her, Tuma. Tuma. And then go, now and go then to the plural. The plural part of it. Okay. First person and would be Wama. Wama with us. Us, right. Huma, second plural would be Huma. Huma with with. Actually, Huma could be feminine. Right. And it could be masculine. Masculine. But it's plural. Mm hmm So then. The would, third. The third would be Hama, Hama with them. Right. Okay. You know, guys, um, for you, you people, folks who are watching and those who would see this later on, again, this is a, just a refresher for those who have taken some Garifuna and for those who are just learning it. We don't want to go too heavy today. We're going to be meeting over the next couple of um, days or, or another week. And we're going to go over some other more structured lessons, but we don't want to overwhelm you. We want us to start with some of these basic stuff. So, Miss Chris, if you can, just kind of recap everything that we went over on the board for us, please. Okay, let's go back. Remember that Garifuna is highly, highly phonetical. Mm -hmm. Phonics, phonics, phonics. And some of the vowel sounds in English are exactly the same in Garifuna. Mm -hmm. And uh, for example, like the, the A, the A vowel, the mm -hmm. sound for the A in English is ah, mm -hmm. and the, song, the same song applies to Garifuna. Ah. So, so what you did there, just to put it in some context, so what you did was put the vowels and put a word that, that, that the exactly. vowel is, is part of. Exactly. And, and then below, I mean, everybody knows what at is, but below, you put so you just give an example of a, of a word. The what of the meaning, the, the meaning. Word right. That start with vowels A, E, right. I, O, U. You. And then you give the, the, the examples like at. So the vowel sound, the vowel for A mm -hmm. would be Ari. Mm -hmm. the, another vowel word in Garifuna would be Aba, Aba which mm -hmm. is one. One, so you're giving the meaning over that side, right? And another Vowel. And Ari is teeth. Aba is Ari one. Ari is teeth. Mm -hmm. Aba, one. one. Mm -hmm. Arani, Arani medicine. medicine. But I'm, I'm trying to show you that the A's are. Ah, ah, ah. Just like in English. In yeah, just like in English. Okay. 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 Then we go to the next vowel song, which is E. Mm -hmm. But the vowel song for E in Garifuna is E. Eh, okay. Eh, re, ba, ba which, which is, is cassava. cassava. Eh, re, re, which is this. strength. Mm -hmm. um, and then the eyes. And then we go to the eye. Mm -hmm. E. Mm -hmm. e, e, e it has an E sound. E rooney. Mm -hmm. e, yeah. e rooney. E rooney. Actually, right. it's pronounced like an E. Mm -hmm. E. Ru-ni, which is sadness. sadness. Uh -huh. E-ri, which is name. name. On, only. only. That's the, that's the O. Only. Mm -hmm. it's not, it, it, this word only. is pronounced, it, it's the, the, this word is actually pronounced like O-N-L-Y. Right. Only. 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 But it means in Garifana, it's, it's spelled O-U-N-L-I yes. and it's only. dog. Only. Mm -hmm. And o we bu, mm -hmm. which is enormous. Right. Enormous. And then we went over the the words that will let you know whether it's the first person singular, second mm -hmm. person singular. I mean, second person singular. So first person singular will always start with an N. Right. Second person singular will always start with, with a, a B. B. First person male will start with an L. First person female will start with a T. T right. First person plural, plural. 
I mean, second, I mean, first person plural will start with a W. Right. Um, second person plural with an H. Right. But an H U. Right. Mm. Huma. Huma. And then the, the third the is Hama. Is right. right. Hama. 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 Mm -hmm. And then we talked about um, we were doing something. We're doing a little counting. We don't put those yeah. on the board. We'll Mama. do that at another time. Uh, Abba, Biama, Ura, Ura Gadu, Sengu, Sisi, Sedu, We Do, Nefu, DC. So we're counting to ten. So I'm I'm going to say one, and you'll say it in Garifuna. Okay. okay? So one. Abba. Two. Biama. Three. Urua. Four. Gaduru. Five. Sengu. Six. Sisi. Seven. Sedu. Eight. Widu. Nine. Nefu. Ten. DC. Okay. We go, we'll go up to a hundred. You'll find once you get to a certain place in Garifuna, it's not... There's some things where where it, it's not like it just key. It's not like every single. I guess you know what I'm trying to miss, Chris. So what I'm trying to say is, it's not once you get to a certain place. Um, I think past the teens, it's easy mm -hmm. to count. Right. After that, because those are the you, hardest thing. Yeah. Because you take the first part and you add, you add, add a number. Add right. Right. Add right. So and we also went over um, the days. Of days the of the week. week. So I'm gonna go Sunday, and then you'll say it in Garifuna. So Sunday. Dimasu Monday Lendi Tuesday Luagu Biama Wednesday Luagu Urua Thursday Luagu Gadru Friday Wanderadi Saturday Samudi Samudi And what about thank you Sereme How are you Ida Biangi and what are some of the ways that we say I'm fine out? We could say what Oh my god, dear. Magadiatina. I am fine. Uh huh. I am fine. Right. And. Oh, what Oh, what What about the. the, the um, I, I like to start with. We can do the morning, eve, afternoon, and evening, but I think I'm going to start with just leaving them with something. Um, Buiti Weyut. Good day. Good day. Buiti were you? And morning, you say? Buiti benafi. Bina, buiti benafi. Mm hmm And night. Well, let's go afternoon. Afternoon, buiti raban were you? In the evening, you will say. Oh, uh, evening, yeah. The word raba were you, you, you just mean the sun has gone down. Mm hmm The sun, it's in Garifuna, they say raba were you. That's mean the sun went down. So that's so the evening. That's the evening. Way. Okay. Mm hmm And then night. Gunyang. Is Gunyang. Gunyang. That one I have a little hardship pronouncing. Gunyang. Gu Gunyang. It's like Gunyang. Gu and the word young. Why are you in Oh, Gunyang. Gunyang. You just Gunyang. made it easy for me. I, <laughs> I was struggle with that one. Gunyang. But if you don't want to struggle with all of these different things, good day. If, if it's during the day, Buiti good day. Way. Buiti way you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, so we cover quite a bit of thing, um, quite a, a little pieces of Garifuna today. And we want to thank Miss Chris because she has been really doing this. Um, she doesn't live that far away, but it's far enough where she got in her car and she dragged her husband out here. I don't think you have to drag. Mr. Mr. V is really, um, I don't think he wanted to put him on camera. He's eating. He, he, he is one of the most supportive spouse, spouses. You know, he came out, he brought, brought, brought her. We put together some stuff. Our space is a little cramped. But we're going to um, do, do, do a little better setup next time. But at least we'll have something more structured for you guys. And so I want to thank you guys for joining us. And this for us, Garifuna, 101, Garifuna Language 101 with Christine Vaughan And Miss Chris, thank you very much. Wave to your Vinci students. <laughs> I, bet you, you know, I bet you guys miss her coming to St. Vincent. But we're going to be back next year. But we're just going to do some of these classes to kind of give you guys a little brush up and to help those who want to join hard about us, want to join the classes, haven't done so yet. This will give you a head start, what we're going to be doing in the next number of, um, next couple of months. All right. So thank you very Hi, much. <laughs> also, we are going to um, put this on QX TV, which is at uh, QX. It's not a Q as it might sound. It's C-U-E-X TV. 
dot binge wave dot com that c u e x t v dot b i n g e w a v e dot com that's our online network and we're going to put it there as a as a seg segment i think i'm going to create a new show for it so that we put all of our language classes there and you can go also i, I noticed that ruben reyes did a class he does a beautiful job in l.a working with the children there in LA and the people, not just children, people in LA. So I saw that he was doing one and I, and I, and I posted that earlier to our group as well. You know, every little bit counts, whatever, you know, we can do to get this language out, not just to Vincentians, for other people, but particularly Vincentians. Um, we want to, you know, get it out there. And, um, and I said particularly Vincentians because we don't have much exposure to it. The exposure they've had or we've had is the one that Yuga Cure has been doing. And it's, we don't kid ourselves. That's not enough. So whatever we can get out there. Um, I think Facebook Live, everybody know me. I don't like Facebook Live. I am a little bit more comfortable with, with, with edited television. I don't like something live that I can't edit. So you're not going to see much of me on these except here in my big mouth in the back, you know, asking questions and kind of um, spurring things on. But we are going to be putting these on uh, QXTV and then you'll be able to go to them on demand and and learn them. This is our first one and we hope to do a, a number of them. All right. Well, thank you very much um, and for joining and we'll see you guys next time. We had a little bit of a late start. I must apologize. What happened is there was a funeral for John McCain. As you guys know, he's very, very powerful gentleman, bipartisan gentlemen with all the mess that we have going on in, in America. He was one of the few Republicans who was, and I don't want to get into a bunch of politics, who was really, you know, bipartisan. He, he, he wasn't into all that. He, you know, he, he voted with fairness and he passed away after serving his country well. And so everybody was just really gripped. It was a really moving thing. Even I got gripped. So Miss Chris and I were a little bit late starting, but we got it started. And like I said, it's going to be available on QX TV for people to watch at your, um, all right, Miss Chris, so one last wave to them and we're going to finish Bye. this. Thank See you. See you guys next time. Okay.